Salahuddin Ayyubi rahmatullahi alayhi, when he was going to conquer, fight the crusaders, one person came to him and he said that, Oh Salahuddin, why is it that I see you and you never smile? Why is it that you always look serious? And as Salahuddin Ayyubi rahmatullahi alayhi replied, that how can I smile and how can I laugh and how can I be happy when Al Masjid al Aqsa is under occupation? How can I smile? And after winning back Al Masjid al Aqsa, he heard of another fleet of ships that had left Europe and they were coming to attack Al Masjid al Aqsa and attack Jerusalem again. Hazrat Salahuddin al Ayyubi alayhi, he went into the masjid at night and he cried all night. And he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that my troops are tired and they will not be able to combat this attack again. Oh Allah, please help us. Oh Allah, please help us. He shed tears at night and he cried all night for Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa, for the land of Jerusalem and for the land of Sham. The next morning after Fajr Salah, he meets a pious servant of Allah. And when he meets this pious servant of Allah, he says to him that please make dua, please make dua. The, the crusaders are coming again and they have sent so, so so much number of ships and we will not be able to combat them because our troops are extremely tired and our numbers are dwindling the pious servant he looked into the eyes of Hazrat, Hazrat Salahuddin alayyubi rahmatullahi alayhi and he said most probably this was a kashf that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had granted him this knowledge and he looked into the eyes of Hazrat Salahuddin alayyubi rahmatullahi alayhi and he said that do not worry your tears at night have sunk the ships of the crusaders and then three, four days later, the news came that these ships that had left Europe, they had sunk in the Mediterranean, something happened there. But this is how people used to worry about, uh, about Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa today, where is our concern? Let's have a, a small concern, small concern. We don't have to take all your 24 hours in Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. We don't have to become terrorists to have worry about Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. You don't have to become extremists and you, you're not an extremist if you have worry about Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa is part of Islam. It is part of our heritage. It is part of our heritage since the time of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam, and it will remain in our hearts until the day of judgment.